Undoubtedly, Rome has an important status in religious world. According to the Paul and Plato Global Religious Project, there were about one in three people worldwide are Christians in 2010, and half of all Christians are Catholics. The Vatican City in Rome leads all of the Catholic Church in the earth. There are more than 900 churches in Rome, though not all of them are Roman Catholic Church. It includes the most important one, the Saint Peter Basilica. This gorgeous place was built in 17th centuries, which is the home of the Pope, the leader of Catholics. There are two chances to meet the Pope when he is in town. One is the papal audience held on Wednesday. The other one is the Angelus playing and papal blessing held on Sunday. However, Catholics or Christians is not always popular in Rome. Before Emperor Constantine legalized Christians in 330 AD, Christians were being suppressed, arrested, or even executed. By letting them to fight in the Colosseum. Here comes the Colosseum in Rome. Have you ever been there? Of course, it is a must to visit there, as Colosseum is the icon of Rome. Let me ask you some questions. Do you know what was Colosseum formerly used for? Um, it was used for animal hunts and battles. Am I correct? Bingo. The Colosseum was an amphitheater used for animal hunts, battles, and dramas. However, I know that the Colosseum was seriously damaged by earthquakes and was stolen by some stone robbers. It was still the iconic attraction of Rome, even though it is no longer an amphitheater. Colosseum was also famous for its architecture. The Colosseum was built with Roman columns. Light Doric columns, which are the most simplest style of columns, Ionic columns and Corinthian columns. Corinthian columns are the most decorated ones. I know, I know. Arches are used in construction too. I know that each level in Colosseum was built with eighty arches and with Roman numerals on them. Different levels are for different classes. The lowest level was for the emperor and senatorial class, and the tier above was occupied by noble class. The up level above was for ordinary Roman citizens, while poor citizens could only watch at the upper level. Have you ever eaten pasta? Pasta is definitely very famous in Rome. When rice prefers more in northern Italy, pasta grows in Rome. Its sauces are also used to demonstrate the simplicity of Roman cuisine. Now I'm going to take you guys to La Pergona, one of the best restaurants in Rome. It's three Michelin stars. The only Rome restaurant to be accorded such an honor, attests to the excellence of its cuisine. I'm very glad to invite Hans back, one of Europe's most respected three Michelin star chefs, to demonstrate his signature pasta. Which is also Michelle Obama's favorite. We can also see the key ingredients of Roman pasta used there, are with cheese and chili peppers. Wow, Hans is finished at his dish. Roman pasta seems to be very delicious. Hey, Dicky. I know you're a football lover. Do you love Manchester United or Chelsea? Neither. I support AS Roma. Oh, then you must know who Totti is. Of course, he is my favorite football player. Then you must know much about football in Rome. Yes, football is the most popular sport in Rome. Olympic Stadium is the shared home stadium for Serie A clubs Lazio and Roma. The latter is more well known in Rome, and it has world-class footballers like Totti and Di Rossi. 
the new large Olympic Stadium were created and renewed to host qualification and final match of FIFA World Cup in 1990. There are also other sports that are gaining wider acceptance. For example, every May, WOM hosts the ATP Master Series Tennis Tournament on the Caicos of the Foro Italico. WOM is also home to other sports teams, including basketball, Vetus WOMA and volleyball, and WOMA Volley. WOM really has a great sports culture.